Well, as you can see, I've transferred a number of items over. Some that were um, physical games that were already installed on my DSi and some that were not. So as usual, they come over as a Christmas gift or a present. Hit unwrap. It opens up and it opens up and tells you what it is. The real question is what happens when you go to the store now and try to get one of the ones that was authorized for download but didn't actually send the file over? That's what we're going to find out next. So we'll open the store. We'll see just how hard it is to get the item that you've already had before that it just transferred the license over to. See the shops booting up. Sorry, it's the middle of the damn night. Doing the best I got here. So, you see on the top it has some sort of a banner, and at the bottom it's got the stuff. So let's see what we got down here. News, recent arrivals, charts, search, wish list, rate titles, add funds, settings, and other. So how do I find what I already owned? Staff pick of the week, quick plays, two player games, four player games. So it's got these all just kind of coming soon. So we'll do a search. We'll type in um, five. Should be five and one. There's five and one Mahjong video. 5 Mahjong, 5 one Solitaire. Available now in the eShop. And to the re-download screen. It says how much it costs. And go to the re-download screen. Next. So we have here. Read the info. Purchase titles can be re-downloaded at no extra cost. We'll download. So there's nothing that says like my games. You still have to know what you have and go find them, which is kind of goofy. Destination is system memory. That looks like. And you can see the transfer. And it's down as the gift. And it says, do you want to continue shopping? Press home. You go back. And I should have a new gift. New software has been added. Unwrap. And there is my 5-in-1. Fantabulous.